we're going to see most likely Cave Dweller a lot of just low floats right at that height, just above Ice Climber's head, and forward ears. And that's kind of going to wall them out. That said, Diz, you know, he kind of walked into that down smash, and you're going to take those if they're given to you. And I mean, Diz gets the grab, but because the down smash was able to really desync those Ice Climbers, no Oh, and this wobble. is going to be a wobble. Oh, there it is, though. There we go. And you hear the boos <laughs> from the crowd. But uh, this kid is not going to let that affect. He's actually he's like, laughing about it. He is laughing about it. He does I'd, not care. I'd like to point out that the guy booing him the loudest right now, S1, got wobbled by him, I think, seven times in one set. That's a lot of times. <laughs> That's to get a lot of times. It was either six or seven. I might boo this kid as well if I was wobbled <laughs> yeah. seven times. Um, but yeah, obviously very strong start from this kid. And Cape Dweller just can't let that affect him. He has to oh, get back no. to his game. Oh, no. Now, one thing that's uh, worth mentioning is we don't have a uh, a lot of Ice Climbers players around here, and so Cave Dweller might be lacking a little bit in experience. I kind of don't agree with going to Final Destination in this matchup. Um, but, you know, that's what happened, and this kid, he's up a solid two stocks. Well, um, there you go. That's another thing. A lot of characters have trouble grabbing Ice Climbers because... Um, the other Ice Climber will just hit them, right? But Peach and a couple other characters, like Marth, for example, they can just grab it and immediately throw out a forward throw, and there's not really much that Popo can do about it. And now it's just a matter of how much percent can the Ice Climber rack up right. and as the Sopo. From, from what I've seen, Dis's Sopo is not, um, it's not, you know, like, one of those, like, miracle Sopos taking out three stocks or whatever, but he's not bad. He definitely, you know, he knows Ice Climbers really well. A lot of people are like, oh, Ice Climbers, you know, he, all he does is wobble, blah, blah, blah. But no, we actually, we saw him doing a lot of cool stuff. Like, he did, like, the handoff really well. He had some cool recovery tricks. So he, he definitely knows his characters very well. That right there that we saw was kind of what I was talking about yeah, with the, the hitboxes. The front, the front air. Uh, on the forward air, yeah. It kind of, it, he got the reverse hitbox on that. Oh, he has is that a stitch? stitch base. There is a stitch. It he hit both. it. Oh. This is, this is a tense situation. Now, one really big advantage of the situation is he can just throw it. Oh, no. That's going to kill. Oh, no. Just kid messes it up. And he still has the stitch face. He still has the stitch. Okay. The stitch face is now out of play. But um, one of the advantages of the stitch face is he can just um, throw it at his shield. And there's nothing that this kid can really do about it. Because if he spot dodges, it'll just hit Nana, most likely. And does the stitch, stitch face, does that really chew away? Hit the shield as well. Yeah, or, it's pretty brutal. However, one nice thing Ice Climbers have going for them is they're so slidey that you, you can't do like you'll see um, Peach just kind of just like throw Stitch faces over and over at like a Marth or something or a Sheik, but um, that doesn't really happen to Ice Climbers. All right. Now, as long as Cave Dweller can keep these two split up, he's in. You know, he's not in a great spot. Obviously, he's down, but this is certainly winnable. He gets a dot face, which is. Uh, one below Stitch Face in strength, and he takes out Nana very quickly, and that is that is what you expect to see in this matchup. Oh, that was oh, actually the, pretty... the reach on that down smash. That, I did not not expect that. Yeah, that was actually a pretty smart recovery, uh, or a pretty smart edge guard. Sorry, it was a smart recovery as well. And, and I believe he only took about twenty percent damage. Right. That yeah, shot. and like now it's a pretty even game, um, especially with the way Diskit plays. You won't see him getting kills with just off sheer percent very often. Usually it's just, you know, once he gets a grab. Um, what we saw there is called the Dana Bolt. You kind of, you dash and throw Nana at them without Popo moving. And um, that's kind of a new age. Oh, that's not gonna kill. All right. Cape Dwell. Oh no! Unfortunate ending from Cape Dwell. However, he was looking pretty strong there towards the end. So I think he needs to just go into the next game confident that, you know, he can take these ice timers. And what I was going to say is the, the Nanapult, um, it's a very old school piece of technology, but people lately have been using it as kind of like a stalling tactic. Like they just sit there and throw out this wall of blizzards with Nana, and there's not really much that Peach can do um, to kind of get through it. You know, I, th I think that game was close enough for Quake Cave Dweller to you know, really be confident in the way that this next match is going to un unfold. Right. I, I don't think it was, uh, you know, the, the wobbles weren't as demoralizing as they could have been. For right, him. yeah. 
You know, he was like, okay, you know, you got me, you wobbled me, but I am still going to be able to win this. Oh, no! He, he needed to mash out. He, um, when you're at a low percent, like 25%, you can mash out before the wobble even gets going. I think it's about uh, like 38, 40% where the, the wobble yeah. it's confirmed at that point. Yeah. And you can't escape. But even then, like it's still worth it to try mashing out, at least at the start, right. I feel, because... Um, sometimes the ice timers are in a, like a weird like desync where they can't really just get it set up instantly, and we are seeing a lot of a lot more Blizzard being used by Dis. There we go. That's what I was talking about with the handoff. However, he uh, he messed up because he thought Nana was gonna throw forwards, but Nana actually threw backwards because he was slightly closer to that side of the platform. Nana will always, if you're near an edge, Nana will always throw them off the edge. Now, when Nana was by herself there, she actually protected herself. Is that something that uh, Diz Kid can control? Or is that um, Nana's AI on its own? It's Nana's AI on its own. I think, I want to say Nana's like a level, maybe it's a level 1 computer. I think it's like, might be level 2 or 3 though. But, um, the only time you can control Nana is if you don't have control of Popo. So, for example, a fun thing to do is if you break your shield with Popo, you can then like run Nana around. But you can only go a certain distance away from Popo. Anyways, Diz is still looking strong even with just Sopo right now. And uh, Cave Dweller is shaking his head. He knows that, like, he got the kill on Anna. Like, that needs to be a stock. Right? And he goes down two stocks. It's, it's okay to take a little bit of percent when you're facing off against one one ice climber. But, but losing a, lose stock a stock, is, that's a big deal. Especially since, as we said, Diz is very wobble-focused with his gameplay. I mean, if we, if we had a tier list, a uh, single ice climber would be pretty much at the bottom. Uh, probably still better than a couple of those characters. Yeah. Pichu's not a real character. <laughs> um, anyways, Cave Dweller does finally take uh, that stock, but he lost the stock and gained 74%. That's not the situation you want to be in. And one, one of the interesting things is a lot of people uh, took Diz here yesterday, found in Dreams, that is, um, because they were like, well, the platforms will get in the way of the wobble, right? But Found in Dreams is a really, really good stage for ice climbers, and Diz is not a bad ice climbers player who just relies on wobbling. You know, he knows the character very well. Oh, and that is going to be the and set. And he got that at an extremely low percent. Yeah. He, he, he locked that wobble in, wobble in at about 20%. Uh, and this, this, this kid's just laughing about it. Cave Dweller can kind of only... Well, we, we've got some people about it too now. trying to... Uh, okay. Wait, you're doing that right now?